Hey, this is British Huddle. Good morning. And I want to discuss an idea around the all-time high of Bitcoin. I believe that a new all-time high this time for Bitcoin is possible before the halving. There's several reasons for that. The one analysis that I want to dig into right now, and I put this, broke this down on Twitter, and I'll put the link to that tweet in the description so you can go and read it, is the analysis by Sean Farrell of FS Insight. And what they, what they basically, what you have to wonder when you're thinking about a, an asset with a finality of supply is what's going to move the demand lever of this asset. So what they're saying is, if an ETF is approved, like the BlackRock ETF, is if it is approved, then what that means is they are predicting a 25 billion dollar demand in the first year. That works out to about 100 million dollars a day. The current equilibrium price. So to keep the Bitcoin price completely stable, there's about $25 million a day worth of demand coming in right now to keep it stable. If the demand dips, then the price dips. If it goes up, then the price goes up, right? But the current equilibrium demand is $25 million. Well, this with 20 with with an ETF being approved and $25 billion of demand within the first year, that increases the daily demand from 25 million to 125 million. So then the question is, what needs to happen to the price of Bitcoin? Because you can't move the supply lever on Bitcoin. It's the only asset where you cannot move the supply lever. If an ETF is approved, rather when an ETF is approved, and the daily demand goes from $25 million a day to $125 million a day, what's the equilibrium price? And what they found is without the anyone increasing their hodl rate without anyone uh because as the price if so for example if the price goes from 30 to 60 and it looks like it's about to go to 80 are you more likely to hold or sell your bitcoin you're more likely to hold if you're a rational investor so therefore the hodl rate goes up but not assuming that not assuming any fomo kicking in as the price goes up they are projecting that an equilibrium price to match the daily demand if an ETF is approved, would be $140,000 per Bitcoin before the halving. If an ETF is approved after the halving, remember, the supply of Bitcoin on a daily basis is going to go down by 50%. So this is extremely bullish as fuck, and this is one reason why we can absolutely get a new all-time high before the halving in this cycle. Really need to look at this data. Go check out the tweet that I've linked in the description. If you haven't followed me on YouTube, click subscribe. And if, you're, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, while you're over there looking at this tweet, just hit me a follow and say hello. Everyone, remember, there's only three rules to Bitcoin. Step number one, you buy Bitcoin. Step number two, you shut the fuck up. And step number three, you become fabulously wealthy. Have a beautiful morning. I'll speak to you later.